Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. This, I don't even know what this model is called. It's by Privateer Press. It's a plastic kit, all plastic. No, wait, that's not true. It did have some resin parts, right? Okay, well, anyway, uh, it no, had some... No. It didn't? It was all plastic. It was all plastic. Okay, well, anyway, it's a great kit. I love it. You'll notice it's not on the round base that you would typically get from Privateer Press, which would have uh, directional markings for gameplay. I bought this just because I liked the figure. I plan on using it in my D&D &D game. Yeah, you guys are in big trouble. Um, <laughs> And uh, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting encounter for sure, the way I have it. So it's it's like this crawler that walks along. It has cannons, these uh, auto guns or rifles up top. In my game, since I don't have a lot of black powder, I make black powder very rare. These are going to be steam cannons, and these things will uh, use steam power to uh, shoot arrows or uh, bolts rather. All right, so uh, yeah, it's just a really cool figure. I gotta tell you, my paint job on it is not very imaginative. It's basically grays and blacks. I've got this little freehand rune up here. I put some of this mustard color on these key plates, which is really the only redeeming feature, re-color uh, on this. Uh, some black, uh, critical areas are black, which is nice. I could have, uh, and may still actually blacken these exhaust ports just to give it more color, I guess, introduce like brownish black there. This is like a little glowy turquoise thing, but other than that, this is pretty boring. And I gotta tell you, I was pretty unimaginative when I was making the color scheme for this, but quite frankly, dwarves seem like they would just have gray, and there is some weathering on there, and these little ladders are are brown and those are scaled very nicely it's it's hard to get ladders right but in the game world it seems like that's what they would actually uh, be scaled at so uh, a lot of fun this was on super super sale at my local shop and of course you got to support your local shop and it's uh, fun to get a little treat on sale once in a while so I just pick this up. I do have the base though if somebody saw this and fell in love with it and wanted it for their War Machine army um, you know I wouldn't mind uh, giving you a number for it. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.